Welcome to another episode of Driveaholics. I'm Marlon. And I'm Anton. In this episode, we're exploring the fantastic King Valley wine region just to the north of Melbourne. No way! Are you guys Driveaholics? I guys saw you on YouTube. I got a camera. I want to be just like you. Your channel is so awesome. I love wait, it. Wait, have you, you subscribed? subscribed? Yes, and I like every single yeah, video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See this on business. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, hold on to your seats. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> oh man, well, that could have been funny. Oh, all right, I nearly had a heart attack. <laughs> Broke a sweat. Now that the windows are fogging up, let's open it up a bit. Oh, all right, forgot to break. Now when we awake. We are ready for twisty bits. Let's go. All right, here you come. The sun, I can't see the road. Yeah, see, it. look at this drop off. That's oh, perfect. Thanks. Don't tell me about the drop off if I can't see it. <laughs> that thing is at least, I don't know, 20 meters. Break. Oh, I'll be breaking. <laughs> oh, Wadi roads are fun. <laughs> oh, well, we are. Oh, we are taxi attacking the corner, that's for sure. Oh, that was good. Yeah, make sure you hit that massive like button and subscribe to their channel. We're almost touching each other, that's how much G, how much G force is inside this car right now. We're in an Audi right now with the all-wheel drive because I feel kind of safer. Please do not do that at home. I knew it was an Audi commercial. <laughs> Please don't do that in the Commodore. Well, you can do it at least once. <laughs> yeah. Do you find the tree? Welcome to Powers Lookout. This must be one of my favorite lookout points in Victoria. Not only is the drive up here really rather awesome, but also it is really crowded, a little secluded even, and the views from up here mesmerizingly beautiful. There is minimal walking required, although there are some steep sections and stairs, but after a short amble you reach the two or three points where you can walk up to the cliff's edge. 
When you do, you get a surreal 300 meter high bird's eye view of the entire King Valley in Holt's beauty. It's almost a full 360 degrees. Come here early as we have and you're likely to have the spot all to yourself and be treated to the valley bathing in soft morning light below. To top it all off, this place has a bit of exciting history behind it. Harry Power, one of Australia's last bush rangers and outlaws, was captured here in 1870, hence the name. The story goes that he used this spot as a vantage point. He also, rather famously, had Ned Kelly as one of his apprentices. We just arrived at Fitzsini Winery. Yes, we did. Um, so Look we're at being... the view. Look at this place. Right. Um, so we've been driving since what? 5 a.m. It's 11 o'clock. So six hours of driving and taking footage. It's very exciting. The roads are amazing. There's going to be some clips in before I was driving through, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Pizzini is a family-owned winery that began in 1978, with the first Pizzini labelled wines coming in 1994. The winery specialises in Italian grape varieties, Sangiovese, Pinot Grigio, Nebbiolo and others. There are also spaces here for events, there is food, there's a guest house and even an Italian cooking school. On the subject of wine, King Valley itself is a fascinating place with a lot of history. It stands out in Victoria as a cool climate wine region specializing in Italian grapes with a unique taste to its produce. It has some of the highest vineyards in Australia too, up to 800 meters above sea level. There are many wineries here, although we'll only visit two today, including my personal local favorite La Cantina. Wineries though are almost a recent addition to the region. Since the 1880s, the valley has been used for agriculture, including hops and tobacco, but when post-World War II European migrants settled the area and tobacco fell in popularity around the 1970s, the focus shifted to chestnuts, berries and now vineyards. The region though is also famous for great hospitality. There's lots of food, accommodation, beautiful views aplenty. A fantastic place for a getaway. Alright, we're about to get some lunch. Been driving around since 5 a.m. Getting pretty hungry. Just because I take the filming seriously, <laughs> right, Mullen? Sure. We've arrived at the second winery for the day, La Cantina. I'm about to have a look around and try some Italian more wine varieties. Why is everyone filming? This you're gonna is watch it. where you go in, you're gonna pull up. Ah. Ah, it's fine. This is how it's done, bro. Welcome to the winery number two. So this is all business because you got the winery over there and a the shop down here. No snacks, no popcorn, no free no crackers, samples, boring. no crackers. No crackers. No you literally go in these closed doors right here. And uh, it's all business. Whoa. Hi, how you doing?
Oh, look at that. So, Anton, what do you have in your trades box? Just some drink bottles for the, for the way home. <laughs> Just on the way home, some snacks. Oh, what's in there? What's what? in there, Anton? <laughs> Is that another snack for the way home? Yeah, just in case I, I run out. And did you bring these tissues just to pack in the box? It's to wipe the tears of joy. Where is it gonna go? Pretty solid. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. And that's how it's done. Alright guys, we just got to the lake, we got all our gear, we got a tripod, that means we're going to go and do our final scene uh, to say how awesome this video was and how much fun we had. This is the lake and uh, yeah, we're just going to head over to our spot to do the final scene. Our final stop for the day is the William Havel Dam, named in honour of the explorer William Havel. The dam was opened in 1971 for irrigation purposes and later adapted for hydroelectricity. The dam is located about 18 kilometres from Chestnut and about 70 kilometres from Wangaretta, located on the edge of the Alpine National Park. The reservoir is fed by the King River and is a great fishing spot for trout, redfin and some perch. The park area surrounding the reservoir has great barbecue spots, although camping is not allowed. There are trails for hiking and four-wheel drivings around the area. Canoeing and boating is of course allowed in the reservoir and has some unique regulations. Boats are limited to 8 kilometers and 10 horsepower which means a pleasant and a quiet day for fishing if you're into that. Hey, we are at the end of the journey at the lake. Just had a great walk around, fantastic place. Uh, one thing that we haven't done today is introduce our guest. This is Alex and he's from the Daily Boosted YouTube channel. Make sure that you subscribe and follow him. Thank uh, you. You want to say a few words about today? Uh, yeah, great day. It was really fun. Yep, thank you. Um, <laughs> it was really fun doing this. Uh, these guys wrote an eight page script, which I had to read before we came over. So everything nice. is staged. But it was a great was, day. The script exists, but we followed but no none one of it. Uses it. <laughs> yeah, it exists only in the cloud. Uh, Melbourne, first time in Melbourne in like area like this. Uh, it's really nice weather today, which is amazing, and uh, just great countryside. So make sure you come and visit the Kings uh, Valley. Just yeah. King Valley. Kings Valley. <laughs> just King Valley. King no, Valley. Kings. King Valley. Kings Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Um, great wines here. Yeah. And the, the roads we took, I think, were pretty good actually. From Mansfield to Powell's Lookout, pretty empty. Nice drive. Yeah. Um, and then from Powell's to. Well, actually, the road down here to the lake was pretty good as well. Yeah, all road was, full, was great. Not enough, not much traffic either, so that's mm. good. Very few people. Everywhere we've gone, it's just been quiet. Yeah, and the weather's been pretty good too. Yeah. Nice so and sunny. So make sure you come down here, have the wine, enjoy the uh, serenity, as they say, and uh, we'll see you next time. Just do it. <laughs>